we are interested in urgency from two perspectives. First of all, the urgency of protecting insect populations. And secondly, the urgency of insect behaviours. So we have been researching um, some different insects um, and their behaviours in the hope of making some beautiful art pieces. And the, the end product that we're working towards, we hope, um, is a, a new series of poems by Fiona and a new series of recordings that we're making with entomologists and other people interested in insects, um, recordings of our environment in places like this, um, and to weave these things together into a, what we're calling sound poems. <laughs> well, I think there were all these serendipitous surprises. So I went to... Um Penryn to see Dr. Watton, who is a hoverfly expert. And actually, he's, he was just brimming with affection for these blooming hoverflies. <laughs> and he told this story about an experiment they'd done to see which direction they point in. And that has triggered, I think, a poem. I mean, really, it's that kind of input that is amazing and that you don't really know what's going to trigger a, a creative work. And that's part of the fun. You just kind of need to know where to look a little bit and then just see what happens. I think a lot of what we're trying to do in this project is to show how incredible these insects are. I mean, I think yeah. that's been the biggest surprise of this project for me. Yeah. Um, but I have come away feeling totally inspired and fascinated mm. and obsessed. And I want to try to pass that on to the people who experience this work. I think we're both incredibly grateful to the university and to the arts and culture team in particular. This is an opportunity I can't see us having had otherwise. Um, the support of the arts and culture team in terms of putting us in touch with experts that can answer our questions, um, that has been invaluable.